Good morning. I'm delighted to be with you this morning. I'm Janet Brenneman, and I'm also delighted to have my husband, Wes Newswanger, here with me, and he is actually going to be leading us in the devotions this morning. I will read Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Good morning. Thank you, Janet, for reading that. Today I'm talking about Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and the 23rd Psalm. When Jesus was born, common folk, sheep herders, sitting out the chilly night on a hillside, were among the first to know. When did Jesus learn about this miracle without cell phones or TV news? Did Jesus learn of his birth night from the neighbors or from his parents? How? When? What did Jesus have to do? I'm sorry, what did shepherds have to do with Jesus' life? Practically anybody can be a shepherd. In Jesus' hometown, every family probably owned several sheep or a small herd. There was always someone appointed to take care of the sheep. Sheep are particularly ill-informed about dangers around them. They're always having their heads down, searching for the next lump of green grass. Their life is controlled by the one who's looking out for them, finding pasture, water, and safety. Let's use our imagination this morning and try to think about how the 23rd Psalm might have affected Jesus' life. When did Jesus first encounter the 23rd Psalm? Probably most boys learned it at their father's side, memorizing it by repeating after him. Joseph, this is Joseph. Now, son, it's time to learn the shepherd's psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, Joseph almost sings, remembering, <laughs> remembering his own papa lining out the now familiar phrases. And the boy Jesus responds, the Lord is my shepherd, I have all I need. Papa, I know we're having a lesson now, but uh, Papa, I have a question. <clears throat> yes, you always do, go ahead. Papa, how can the Lord be my shepherd? The Lord is God, right? How can God take time to be my shepherd? Papa replies, isn't God with you all the time? Yes, you said so, but I can't see God. But God sees you. Remember the angels sang to the shepherds when you were born? They sang, look, you will find him in a manger in a tiny barn, just inside the town. Just follow the light. God knew where you were then, and God sees you and me now. Wow, that's awesome. Yes, and humbling. <laughs> now go tell your mother what you just learned. Did Jesus decide at some point that the shepherd's song belonged to him? Did he internalize it, 
treasure it in his heart. Repeat it to himself, maybe as he walked along behind his parents, as they hurried to catch up with their relatives, after discovering the 12-year-old lost in his questions and answers with the temple scholars. Did he realize then he must develop his own paths of righteousness? By going home now and being obedient to his parents, Did he hum, the Lord's my shepherd, while working in his father's cabinet shop, fitting a cobbler's bench together for shoemaker Josiah Benjamin on the other side of town? Did he check out the shepherd theme with his disciples, like, hey, I have this idea that the people might like the thought of a leader being a shepherd. What do you guys think? Complete silence. Sounds sort of dumb to me, says someone. Yeah, sure sounds upside down if you ask me, Peter pipes up. Judas says, shepherds are backward, sweaty, smelly, not smart and rich like I'm going to be. Hmm, remember Jesus. Did he repeat the 23rd Psalm phrases to himself like, I wonder if I can help tax collector Zacchaeus develop some paths of righteousness for the sake of God this afternoon. During the times he spent alone in his quiet spot, did Jesus thank his Father God for restoring my soul like we sometimes do? The book of John, chapter 10, quotes Jesus, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. And I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Surely he had many occasions to repeat, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. 95. 96, 97, 98, 99. Hey, where's little Lammy Mosey? I got to go find him. Davy, you stay here at the hedge gate while I go hunt for Lammy Mosey. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And... And they hung him there. (laughs) They hung him there with two thieves, one on his left and one on the right. And the one said, Jesus, if you be who you claim to be, remember me. Today you will be with me in paradise. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.